handled him quick. Wimpy. Handle. There you go. Now is that not a nice sit? Good boy. That's a nice sit. Back. At a boy. Now let him have his duck. And we'll go on to the twenty or the forty. But let him have his duck first. <clears throat> Watch him. You're always behind me, you know. <laughs> Good thing, huh? <laughs> now I left the flags out there uh, so you can come back to this. We can come back to this. He and I are planning to come back Monday. And uh, so leave the keys handy because I want to bring all three of them. All those dogs benefited from this, but that's our first session out there. Yeah, well, they did good getting to the 40. So what did we learn, though, about applying this with dogs for the first time that are this green? Bumper in the pocket. Bumper in the pocket. <laughs> that's one thing. Well, and that's connected to another very important principle, and that's flexibility. Atta boy. They, they do have to go fetch that bumper from the pile, but we don't want them stale about that. We want them to have a desire to go back to it. So once we've solved that issue and made sure they fetched, <clears throat> then we need to lighten up a little bit and be willing to flip that bumper over there to let them know that's right, that's the right thing to do, I want you there. Because they've never had a duck thrown at them and been cast off it before. Wimpy. Handle, handle. He is really trying to sit. Atta boy! Good boy. Atta good boy, and this one's just above over. Oh! Make it a verbal over. Oh, oh. So that's a big deal. Atta boy. So we needed to remain flexible, and you could see as you went dog to dog and began to be a little more fluid in your application, right, each so dog took it a little better and a little better. And, then the, and the trainer does too. Yeah. You know. So it's good for both of you. The other thing uh, was. Uh, Wimpy in particular, who's been so slow to sit and just, you know, he never really got the picture of slamming it down. He had the best sit of all of them. He had the best sit of all today. And why? Because we went back. We went to the mini tee. We put that collar over his rump for a different point of contact. It's more direct, more sensitive. And so, having done that, we brought him out here. You didn't have to tie that in very much. And that dog was really getting a conscience about sitting. And he actually sat at the 40 better than any of the three. I think he did best. I mean, once I got past, you know, my screw up in, you know, sending him without stopping him that second time. Yeah. I think I, I, I just caused him more work, you know, and which towards the tail end, you know, we had to help him along a little more yeah. because that costed him more running. Because he had to get sure of himself. Yeah. So when you come back, where will you start? Well, I would start over. Handle. At the, 20, right? at the 20, right? Yeah, and, nice I, and you do your identification oh, again. That's a nice sit. Get. Yep. <clears throat> you'd come back and you'd... you say I'd, do your identification again. Would you go to that 20 and throw one out there? I'd, I I would go all the way to the 80 and throw a bumper over there just like you did the first day. Right. Because we'll the 20, two things. He needs the practice and so do you. Done. So <clears throat> that low 45, Right. people can't lower that arm and so <laughs> uh, we need it. Yeah, it's we different. need to get that that low cast and then that just below and then just above and then the 45 back. We all seem to be able to do that one. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Let him have his duck. It's down. Watch him. You're always behind me, you know. Good thing, huh? <laughs> I don't have my other camera right now because I'm behind you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it makes you more accurate when you get out there and do it so in live you action. So 80, 60, 40 and come back? Yeah, whole thing. <laughs> identify again? Each one and put them up to rest just like we did here. Identify, put them up, identify, put them up, identify, put them up. Then you're bringing a fresher dog out to run the drill. And so then that's when you put your gunner down there and he pops and throws, dog goes and gets the mark uninterrupted, and then pops you, and throws uh, again. If you see that that session goes well, they're, uh, you know, performing better than what they did today at least. Yeah, if they're Showing real clear. They know the pile, they yeah. know the mark. If they're real the clear time, about that cast next time, mm -hmm. then you don't have to re-identify next time. Right. You know, be willing to. But you're doing a simplification there. 
just for their sake yeah. and this drill. But you don't want to, as you go along and you start raising the standard and raising the skill level, you don't want to oversimplify to the point where you turn this into a parlor trick. They are supposed to be generalizing a new skill and a new skill level. And they don't know yet what this relates to. But universally, if we do this right, they have fun doing it. They enjoy it. Handle. Handle. He is really trying to sit. Atta boy! Good boy. Atta good boy. And this one's just above over.